Hello again, my name is Rob Brown. I'm the engineering trainer here at Allied. And uh, what we're going to do for this video is we're going to set up a variable bore tool uh, without using a presetter. Um, we are going to use a presetter at the end just to verify our numbers. Uh, but the, the variable bore itself actually has hash marks on the top of the tool that you can actually see uh, what zero is. And in the catalog, if you uh, look for the insert holder that you need, uh, this particular insert holder uh, has a cut diameter of uh, 20 millimeter. So by knowing the fact that at zero, this tool is at 20 millimeter cut diameter, I can go and make my adjustment. And then uh, once again, I'm gonna do that five foul undersize adjustment. And then when I put it in the machine, I can fine tune it to the size that I need. And I don't even need to use a presetter to do it. So uh, let's start by assembling this tool, uh, just like we've done before uh, using an MVS connector. I'm going to uh, put the tool in tighten down these bolts so get that thing locked into the spindle adapter okay and uh, what we use here in our lab all of our machines are cat 50 spindles so uh, that's what we're putting this into as an MBS uh, to a cat 50 spindle adapter I just got to lock this down okay tighten it up all right so that's locked in now I'm going to take my uh, boring tool and uh, there's a little flat on the boring tool that's gonna to orientate to uh, the lock screw on the side of the variable bore head. So I'm just gonna put that in, make sure I got the right wrench here and I'm gonna lock this down. Okay. There we go. Now I just gotta put in the insert. And I'm gonna flip this tool around so you can see what it is that I'm doing from an adjustment standpoint. Okay. So uh, the insert that I'm putting in here has a little bit bigger of a corner radius on it. So I'm gonna have to compensate for that in that 20 millimeter adjustment, okay? So I'm gonna flip this thing around. And uh, right now it's set at zero, uh, but with that smaller uh, or that uh, bigger nose radius on it, I'm gonna add another probably fourth hour or so to that adjustment. So um, what we're aiming for is an 800 thou finish size, okay? And um, so we know this tool at zero should cut around 20 millimeter, which is 7874. Uh, so we need to move uh, about 12 thou or a little bit more than 12 thousandths, but I'm gonna leave that five thou for adjustment, okay? Uh, but since I do have that larger nose radius on there, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it 12 thou, okay? So we're at zero right now. Um, I've unlocked uh, the spindle. I'm just gonna take this out to about 12, okay? We're going to get there in just a second. Put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's 10. So we're going to go to about 12 thou. And I'm going to, and I'm on the wrong side of this, but we're going to lock this down. Okay, now we're going to take it over to the presetter and we're just going to double check the diameter that we have as a readout here because it should be somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 795. So let's go take a look at where we're at. Come over and we drop this in. See if we're close or not. Okay. So I'm going to snap to that diameter. It's measuring it's 791. Uh, so whenever I would go and do my test cut, it would come over. Uh, it's about uh, uh, nine thou undersize or eight and a half. So I would have to go and in the machine, I would make an eight and a half thou adjustment. Uh, which the way that I would do that is I'm just going to unlock this and I'll just show it to you in here. Okay, and I'm going to dial this out to 800. Okay, so let's imagine we just did that test cut. So now we're going to come in and do that finish cut. Lock this back down. Double check my diameter. And you can see that I'm pretty much right there. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So uh, while I used the presetter to kind of show you the diameter that I ended up with, I didn't really need the presetter to get me there. I would have been off by about eight thou, but then I would go and do that as a rough cut, measure it, find out I'm about eight thou small, make an eight thousandths adjustment on the variable bore, and I'm ready to go. Didn't even need a presetter in order to set it up. So that's all there is to it. Thanks.